Okay. Anytime you're ready. She can cut out the front part. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey guys, Dr. Tiffany coming to you from Healing Touch Chiropractic. We're going to share another awesome chiropractic story, is what you would call you. This is Lindsay Bettelson. I can say you're my cousin, right? Yes, of yeah. course you can. Okay. Yes. We're family. Jeez. We're family. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes this even more special from yes. my perspective. I'm sure yours too. But um, Lindsay has a little bit of a different story. She um, has been forever, actually, since I've known you, or since I've remembered knowing you yep. growing up, has always been focused on health, living well, nutrition, movement, the whole kit and caboodle. She's been um, CrossFit coach. You've well, your work is coaching people right. on right. health and wellness yeah. and weight yes. and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. um, one would have never really known that she wasn't that well. Mm -hmm. Right. That's, you covered that's it really well. Uh, yep. Yeah, I kind of lived in this, this front, I guess, so to speak. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to talk about the front. We're going to talk yeah. about what kind of um, happened when she realized that she doesn't need to live that way anymore and to trust that her body could be and feel different. Um, and then how she's doing now. So yeah. I'm just gonna let, it, let gonna, you go. I'm just gonna uncover the story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. so um, I, I was just kind of this living in, in, a, in, a, in a foggy haze, so to speak, for a long, long time. How and, long do you think? Oh gosh, since it started in college. Yeah. And it just slowly got worse. Yeah. And you didn't really know what was getting no, worse. No, I didn't I didn't really realize it and until until it was a point where I couldn't concentrate at work. It was affecting my, my social life, my daily life at home with my kids, um, my relationship with my boyfriend. Um because I was also in chronic pain. Mm -hmm. And that pain, it was, it was consuming me and my life. And all I could think about was, was my pain and how I could deal with it every day. Mm -hmm. And um, it just sucks to talk about just because I think back to it now and how I lived for, with it for so long and how I just let myself live with that. But I didn't. But you I didn't, didn't know. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know what to do. No. So. Um, with that, I had a lot of anxiety um, and just the lifestyle of it. I was very type A, a perfectionist. Um, it, it can lead to a lot of good things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> extreme. Um, you were extreme. I, I was, yeah, there was points to being extreme. Um, being on an anti anxiety medication helped a little bit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but not fully. Mm -hmm. Um, and then things just cascaded where then I had thyroid issues, um, some digestion issues. Um, it, it just seemed to just never kind of end. And things got even worse after I had two kids. And um, the last straw was when I went to my doctor because like nothing seemed to work. I would change my diet. I would change what I was doing for exercise. Um, and then my doctor said, well, Okay, we can, you know, it was my, my suggestion where I was like, okay, maybe I'm deficient in some sort of vitamins and minerals. Mm -hmm. Let's run some panels. Right. All came back normal. Yeah. Perfect. Perfectly fine. So then that came back, and so then my doctor said, well, let's just increase your anti anxiety medication. And I'm like, you know what? That's not what's wrong with me. That, that's not what's wrong. That's amazing. There is something wrong with me, and I don't know what it is. But I'm not more anxious, and I don't want to increase my anti-anxiety medication. Right. So what what am I going to do here? <laughs> right. And um, then I found you. Yeah. Not that I haven't known you for yeah. forever, yeah. but it wasn't that I was ready to try chiropractic as right. a way for me to heal. Right. I was willing to try massage therapy and acupuncture and different types of exercise. Yeah, you did all that. I I, I did. I did, right. and um, you know, it would help for a short period of time. Of course, like getting massage releases muscle tension, which I had a lot of. Right. 
Um, yoga definitely is good for my, my mindfulness, anxiety, and my breathing. Of course, right. I still do that. I right. don't really recommend that to anyone. But um, it didn't help my my connection. Like I was constantly in a disconnect. Mm -hmm. I yeah, was, I was, my body was here. My brain was over here yeah. all the time. There was never this sync, this, this synergy of things working together. Um, and I couldn't figure it out. Um, I knew there was probably something wrong with my adrenal glands, um, this fight or flight response. I knew something was wrong and I, I tried to, to work on that a little bit, but not going directly by myself and just thinking about it. Right. Right. Um, so it actually was my aunt. Your, your mom, Michelle, that actually recommended me just, just go see her. Just, just try it. Just, just see. And I just, I was hesitant. I really I know was. She kept saying, Has Lindsay I just, texted you yet? No. Has, well, she's going to. Has Lindsay texted you yet? No. <laughs> and I don't know, like, what, I mean, when your body is so battered and broken and you, you're just at your last trial, like, why not try, mm -hmm. why not try another thing? And I don't know what. Why, why just the I so resistant? Think, I think we're scared of another failure. And so and that how many be. things have you tried? And I have. And I and have. have for like 10 years. And I was just at such a point in my life where everything was was getting to be so so bad. Bad. Right. That I just thought, what what else can I do to just make it better? Nothing, right. nothing was. Right. And you kind of get in just to despair. <laughs> completely right and then you're protected because you don't oh, want yeah. anyone else to know it was always on. like there was always this front um yeah, yeah i just because you're a beast in the weight room yes you're a beast in mm -hmm. how you take care of yourself I, and activity I, and food I, yes. and how you raise your kids yes like that is absolutely not what anyone would have thought on the outside but you no. had to keep your craft together really strong for mm -hmm. like the one hour that you were coaching people at the gym mm -hmm. and then the bottom would fall out. <laughs> and I don't know oh, how, it's exhausting. I don't know how I did it because I was hardly sleep. I mean, yeah, my sleep was awful. Yeah. I was so fatigued, so tired. I, I'm not sure how I function. No. I don't know. I mean, you have to, you just have to. Yep. When yep. you're, when you're a full-time working mother, you, you just go. But your body can only go for so long mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. things start just crumbling at the seams. So there I was crumbling at the seams. Yeah, you were. Yeah, when I when I came in and had my first eval, I think it was horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't really know how else to just describe oh my the, the like the, gross, the grossness of my eval. <laughs> okay, so was it mostly just because you re you realized where you really were or you wondered why it took you so long or how are you getting through? Like, what was it? I think it was, I think this is what holds people back from even finding a solution or looking for a solution. They're scared. Yeah. I think, well, now I, I look back and I think about the eval and, and, I, and I know how bad I was at that point. And I just think, oh my gosh, I was at like the worst of the worst. Yeah. You know, and, and it's not like I shouldn't have let myself get to that point because I, I, you tried, I tried everything I could not yeah. to get to that yeah. point, you know? Um, so I don't ever like beat up on myself for saying, oh, I didn't try. Right. Well, I did. I, I, I really did try to mm -hmm. be healthy and try to get mm -hmm. not to there, I guess. I, you know, I remember the day that, well, that first day. And I adjusted you and I touched your legs. And so, so it was, like her, it was so painful. Her lit, everything was in chronic pain. pain. I mean, everything was in overdrive. I touched your calves. calves and I jumped, I like, probably jumped off the table. Right? Yeah. Because I was, like, I, oh. I was just in, and that's why it like, that's why my like relationship with my boyfriend was like crumbling because I, I did not want him to touch me because right. it literally hurts. And I, I like try to explain that to him and my family. And they're like, how, how can you touch, feel that much pain? Right. Right. And I'm like, mm, I don't your know. Brain was an overdrive. I don't know. And, and I, you know, when you try to explain to someone, it's like, yeah. Yeah, you can't. No, you can't. But I'm like, literally, like, it was like, 
hurting <laughs> to, yeah. to touch and you were still a beast in the weight room like that's super crazy well, that's just my mentality right that's because your mental world your mental your brain yeah. had to work really hard to get through that pain but I, and after I, I wasn't, that that was the only time that i never felt pain. exactly when I worked out. Really to, oh yeah right as we know yeah and it's, after i worked out that was the best i ever felt that's why i love working out yeah. i love working out right because i felt pain. yeah yeah for a moment <laughs> okay so tell me okay. what what life is like now and okay. what you've learned about your body about chiropractic about okay. Okay. healing um yeah. like what life is it, it's completely completely different it's like i've done this whoop, 360 because i can feel feel things like i haven't before and i can see things like i haven't seen before in so long it's like like i don't have to focus so much on my pain anymore and i can focus on living <laughs> yeah you know it's just like i just even just thinking of my kids like i i was so tired and i had to focus on so many other things and i could just think about them and being with them and mm -hmm. i just enjoy mm -hmm. enjoy those moments i i don't know how to explain that but you um, had a ton of guilt around being a mom i did and a I did girlfriend like a, a i did household with your family yeah because, because I was, you, were not, you knew you weren't your best. And I was always tired, and so I couldn't give them my like, full effort. And, and I all know that so many times my older daughter would say, Mom, you're always so tired. You always have to like lay down. You, have, you, you don't have enough energy. And mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm trying. And right. I didn't. And, and I do now. Right. And it's good. And I just can feel such a better connection and just more of like this love. And I just have so much more to give. Yeah. And it's just, it's so great. And it's, it's so much better relationship with my boyfriend now just because we we communicate better now just because i was always i always shut had down. i always yes exactly and he would say that he's like you just you shut down you don't talk you don't tell me how you feel and i'm more open now i i'm just more free um amazing yeah it's like i'm just more willing to just share my emotions now before it just i never i never felt that way mm -hmm. i never felt like i because I always just felt, it wasn't anger, but it was always just almost a negative because it just didn't really affect me. Kind of irritated. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You were all of those. I mean, your yeah. nervous system was in high gear all the time. Yeah. So if you think of like being chased by a bear, you yep. just were training yourself to always, always. Yeah. get away from the bear. And I just noticed I'm just, I'm so much more calm now. Like I won't, I'm not so short with things. Mm -hmm. Like before I would just, I could kind of snap. I was mm -hmm. on edge and now I'm just like, you know, it's okay. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be all right. And I sleep so much better, which in turn gives me much more energy. Right. I mean, it's, it's, and all this, it's, it's so strange to me. <laughs> it's such a crazy concept, you know? But it all happened very, very, very quickly. Right. You know, because I'm thinking, oh man, I'm going to have to just, Go through all these adjustments and it's going to take a long time and it didn't no it, it no. really didn't you know no, you started um your heart started opening quite quickly yes you were open open for that to happen yeah much more than you maybe didn't think it was going to but no you we're open I didn't. to it right those are two different things right and what's right. one thing i always talk about is to just to have a little bit of hope so that that means yeah. your heart is open and it's willing to just to trust and go with this process yeah. to see what happens because people know because i have done a little bit of chiropractic therapy i guess so to speak when i i was pregnant with kaiser my first child mm -hmm. and it was it's a whole different chiropractic experience mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't this emotional connection that i'm getting it was, it was like, okay, I'm, I don't even want to use the word like, I'm going to use the word. I'm yeah. going to use this word. <laughs> We're going to crack you and you're on your way. Yeah. And it was fine because it was when I was pregnant, I, I needed just some adjustment, but it wasn't even that. It was just like, 
crunch, see you later. Yeah. That's how it felt. Okay. Yep. And that's not how it is here. It's like, you, it's like when I come here, you just like, you, you feel what's going on inside my body and you get me and I leave here and it's like, I'm just this rejuve being. I don't know. You have this, you have this connection and it's, it's so crazy. I, I like talk to my family about it and, and it's, it's amazing. They, they just, yeah. And they're like, she is crazy. <laughs> We know how much this is helping you because we can see it. We we know it. Yeah. Because we we know that you are changing for the good and something is happening here. Yeah. So um, it's not about yeah. believing that it works. Oh my gosh. No. As we know now, right? Because it will work yeah. every single time. Every single time. Yeah. You just allowed yourself to be in a space to be taken care of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I um I I needed this or else I don't know what would have happened with mm -hmm. my relationship with my boyfriend, my my work, <laughs> right? My well, obviously it was you know starting to affect my my workouts, which is you know that was your one place. That yeah, you... yeah. Yeah. So it's amazing. Life's good. They get to see you every week. I know, which has been really good for us. It's been really good. There's just really, uh, and I know I've told you that before, but there really is nothing better when the people that you oh <laughs> <laughs> that already love you see your gift, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. that's the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. So I know that you had, you know, talked about that maybe this wasn't your calling, but uh, it, <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So keep healing people. <laughs> well, you're healing yourself, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't be where I am without you. you. Right. You have it saved me. <laughs> Life is good. It is. Is, it is. Easy. So I hope that um, a lot of people can see this message and and know that um, this can this can help them the way that it's helped me. Mm -hmm. I know. Love you. Me too. Jesus. Oh, he just sneaks up on you. <laughs>